So the first card is resolution of problems. Um, and it says recovery from loss. And I don't know about you, but me as a Taurus, this is wonderful news to hear. So there's some resolution, resolution of problems and recovery of loss. At the moment, you're feeling a bit frustrated as well uh, um, because things might not be moving. Things might be at a bit of a standstill, but it looks like things start moving forward. You can see this horse moving forward. So their problems are going to get sorted out and the loss that you've gone through, you will recover from. So in the past, you've got facing a lot of challenges and obstacles, um, having started a new job. There was a new job opportunity, you started that, but there was a lot of challenges and obstacles that you faced. So going into the future, there's financial gain and receiving important information and messages. So recovery from this loss or financial loss that you went through and some money coming in and, and as well as some important messages and important information. So pay attention to that. Okay, we've got the four of pentacles over here. So you might be, uh, you know, um, going into your um, savings. So your savings might be dwindling uh, because of financial problems that you're having. So this card is talking about trying to save as much money, but, you know, a dwindling um, financial, um, your savings are, are going down because maybe you've had expenses uh, more than more coming, um, more going out than coming in. And you know, you've been uh, going into that and uh, that's now um, you know starting to dwindle quite a bit. So the Four of Pentacles trying to save money, but you know very very worried about money because um, of the dwindling um, uh, your dwindling stores, if you like. So what's happening with you? There's the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the Seven of Wands. So if there's any problems, you need to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. It looks like a lot of people attacking. There might be people saying things about you, attacking your reputation. There's also loss over here with these rats eating away at your savings. So here you are trying to save as much money as you can, and there these uh, you know these expenses are eating up your savings or your money, and you need to actually uh, you know uh, halt it. So maybe curb your spending, stop spending so much of money, and um, also try to prevent that loss because it's also causing you know your savings to go down so you need to stand up for yourself and also uh, make sure that you have some something uh, in order uh, plan in order so that you uh, don't have keep going undergoing all this loss that you're going through as well but you've got the nine of pentacles coming in over here so something new coming in for you that's going to give you financial uh, security maybe it's a new position or a new job that's coming in over here a job of authority where you're communicating with a lot of people but a lot of money coming in so there's some kind of business uh, going on over here where you're going to be able to accumulate funds so uh, and you're going to be talking to a lot of people maybe on an international level so um, you know something bringing in money uh, to curb this loss that uh, you seem to be undergoing at the moment so financial loss but with the nine of pentacles it's you know um, getting help uh, from people around you in order to achieve your financial goals so you, there might be some kind of partnership or you're going to be invited to join a group of people where you'll be working with them uh, and you'll be able to accumulate finance in that kind of way. But it's, there is a need to actually sort your finances, finances out. Do some kind of, um, you need to audit your finances as well. You can see this man's going through the books over here. Uh, and whatever job you're getting in is going to uh, attract a lot more money. Uh, you know, if you're working in sales, more sales going on, but communicating with a lot of people from uh, you know, around you, maybe getting some financial help or financial advice to be able to sort your problems out. And this is just so that you can prevent all this financial loss that you're going through. Okay. So in the past year, you've got the King of Wands over here. So uh, you have been, uh, you know, uh, maybe dealing with somebody who is uh, a person in authority, a businessman, uh, somebody very much in charge who's been helping you uh, get through things. Uh, the King of Wands is usually, uh, uh, you know, an entrepreneur, somebody who's in charge, somebody who is uh, maybe a leader of a company. Uh, maybe you have had a lot of dealings with them. This is a, uh, a kind of fire sign person, so it could be Aries, Leo, or um, Sagittarius uh, energy that is coming through. And, uh, you know, they have been maybe directing your career or helping you out or giving you some advice. <coughs> In the last few months, you've got the Knight of Cups over here, so some offer coming in for you and a choice that you need to make on about which way to uh, move forward. So you've got this man with his cup uh, and here he's, he's bringing an offer. So some kind of offer has come in for you, maybe a new job offer and maybe you have to decide what to do next. Uh, so um, it's been, this could also have been a social invitation really uh, for somebody that you work with. Uh, maybe a new friendship that has come in, a new partnership that has come in, that allows you to move to the future. 
So what's on your mind? Uh, you went through a big crisis in your life where things ended and maybe this is still playing out in your, in your life. Uh, you've had a big loss over here. You see everybody's dead in this part of here, all stabbed in the back. So there was a lot of betrayal, a lot of lies, and it was a big event that caused so much of um, problems and now you just had to walk away. But you're still trying to get over it. It's still playing in your mind. Um, so going into the future, you've got the devil part over here. So working really, really hard. Uh, at your job, but also there might be somebody that you're working with who's very much a bully that's preventing you from going forth. So somebody that is causing um, an obstacle, presenting an obstacle to, uh, to your progress as far as your career goes, and you might be encountering this person. They might be, uh, you know, manipulating you on, and you know, you're having to bow down to their needs or try to serve them, and they are preventing you from going forth. So it's not a very nice energy, and it's an energy of being working really really hard because the devil part is ruled by Saturn but not being able to make much progress. So going into the future what's going on with you is the tower so uh, something coming in to change all the energy all this uh, chaos that seems to be going on with all the other cards you know disputes and problems with money some kind of event coming in that's going to change everything about with the tower it's a uh, uh, an opportunity for change really uh, so something coming in disrupting the whole balance of things and uh, making things uh, you know turning things around eventually they say the tower makes things better and but it does cause a lot of chaos and and you just have to sit it out uh, there's no other way to actually deal with tower energy but to just wait for the dust to settle and then afterwards decide what you want to do so there is some news coming in, so some kind of maybe some legal issues, some kind of uh, official news coming in for you, and this might cause uh, this a tower event to come through. So uh, something that you might be waiting for coming in that's going to cause a lot of uh, change, a lot of chaos, uh, is going to bring a lot of, uh, you know, something very different coming in. It might be, might be something that you really um, very thrilled with so it's not very happy news i must admit uh, the swords cards never usually bring um, pleasant news but they bring a lot of life-changing news so some big news coming in that's going to cause a lot of disruption a lot of imbalance in you so what you want is you just want to get down there and do your work really uh, with the three of wands you want to uh, you know plant your seeds grow your crops and move forward uh, and you know you want that stability and you know you prepare to do the hard work and you want people to help you just to achieve your goal uh, you know it seems like you know uh, the Taurus um, is uh, you know the farmer sign of the uh, the tarot uh, or the zodiac so uh, you know you're trying to just get things done and, and you're trying to plant your seeds and you're just trying to, to just move things and you want that peace you, know, you just want to get on and work and get things done really I think all this drama is just a bit too much for Taurus so you've got the Hermit card over here, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself and it looks like that's going to con continue for a little while where well, you're very focused on your work but spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, also watch out for your health, there could be some health concerns as well with this uh, Hermit card. The Moon is talking about a lot of depression, a lot of confusion uh, and maybe not sleeping well at night. So whatever's going on is stressing you out and you are feeling a bit upset about things and you're over worrying. See the big hippopotamus over here showing that you know you see monsters everywhere so maybe you're worrying too much and this is having a knock-on effect on your health with this hermit card you've got the three of swords over here so there looks like you know you you're still getting over the upset that you had in the past uh that people uh you know let you down or caused a lot of problems so with the, the three of swords it looks like this was a uh separation a breakdown of communication Maybe you're working too hard, people are taking advantage of you and, you know, it, whatever they said was very, very poisonous. It was a very toxic situation. You've got the, the, the snake over here and all these people are down on their knees. So whatever happened, uh, you know, you're still grieving, you're still mourning it and, uh, you know, you still haven't recovered from it. Uh, so you're still trying to deal with that situation of the Three of Swords where you had uh, a lot of problems. Maybe a lot of people let you down and there was a lot of backstabbing, uh, a lot of vindictive behavior. And it seems like with this moon card, you know, you're still grieving over it, you're still trying to get over it, you're still dealing with it. Um, and it is trying, it is stressing you out, it is giving you that problem of, uh, you know, where you've isolated yourself from everybody else and just concentrating on your work. So you are trying to get over things and recover from it, um, you know, and you are dealing with situations where you are working very, very hard. Uh, but it looks like maybe once this tower comes in, it's going to change all these energies around and move you into something different. So let's see what a fairy tarot has got to say. 
seems like you're still getting over this financial loss and you're going to have to get some sort of advice on how to deal with things. You're having a difficult period in your work where you know, you're dealing with difficult people that you're working with uh, and you're still trying to get over whatever personal loss you went through. So not going through a very, very wonderful period, I must say. So let's see. You've got the Five of Summer, which says, trust that there is a reason that everything happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others. Focus on that which uh, frightens you or um, focusing on that which frightens you or worries you. So you've got to, really, this is saying you've got to give up uh, thinking about that past and you've got to move on from it. Because the more you think about it, the more it's depressing you and the more, um, uh, you know, it's bringing in negative uh, energies. So you need to actually move away from that. Now you've got the Emperor card coming in over here. Use logic structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So you might be dealing with somebody who is the Emperor, so somebody who is very dominating in your life. Or you need to actually uh, start being very logical uh, and very, very emotionally detached from the situation. Get yourself organized and sort it out. So you need to take control and don't let anybody tell you what to do. And the last card is the wheel. So finally something changes. Delays are over. A sudden unexpected good luck. A new car are traveling. So after all of this uh, problems that go on, it seems like you end with the wheel, which is an excellent card. So all, with all the problems, uh, it looks like you know your luck changes in, in your work life uh, and possibly in your personal life as well. So things look like they're going to be uh, you know moving on, getting better. Delays are over and there's an a unexpected or sudden change in uh, luck. So Mercury is going direct and you know the moon, which was in its fall recently, has had quite an impact. Uh, but now all of that, you've got the new moon coming into Sagittarius, which is very, very good because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and that's the planet of expansion and money. So it looks like with the, the moon going as the new moon in Jupiter and it seems like you know, Mercury going direct, I think all of this will change. The wheel card is the card ruled by Jupiter. So it's saying that after all these problems that are going on, it seems like Jupiter is going to come in uh, once... Um, the moon goes into Jupiter, things are going to change and luck will change and become better. So I'm waiting for that too. <laughs> um, so um, that seems to be uh, where things are going. So I think just hang in there, uh, things are going to be lifting up and I think the energies will shift to more positive 